Hey, this is Sasha. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. What I want to do today is just share with you how in the world do you use the Thinkorswim Analyze tab or really any kind of Analyze tab because the brokerage software is very similar on just about any platform that you're working with. Of course, a little bit different to tweak or click, but let me share with you how to use this Analyze tab because most people just don't get it. So stay tuned. We're going to go over it in detail right now. Okay, so I think it's important you first understand what in the world is happening in the Analyze tab. And to do that, we're gonna go on paper. So paper, just basics. When you think about this, you gotta look at it from a basic kindergarten point of view, right? So what is happening here? Well, this tells you how much you're making or losing in terms of money. So here at the bottom, we have the price of the stock and on the left or right is your profit. That's the way this works. So if I pick a point, any point right here, Let's pick that point. Well, what does this mean? Well, it means at the $200 price of the stock, if that stock was $200, I would be profitable $1,200. Let's pick another point. Let's pick this point right here. Okay, well, what does that point tell me? Well, if the stock price was 135, I would be uh, at a loss of $800. The zero line is right here. Now, let's go ahead and connect these two points. Let's see if I can make a little bit of a straight line right here. So what does this tell me? It tells me that this is the angle or steepness of my shares. It basically tells me how fast I'm making or losing money. And the higher your delta, the steeper that curve will be. Okay, so sometimes you'll have very steep uh, angles. Other times you'll have less steep angles. So if I break this down, ultimately you have a handful of different things. So let's look at a couple of different viewpoints. So here we have a stock that's uh, moving to the upside. So what does that mean? That means it, that I'm making money as the stock price goes up. Here we have a stock that's moving a lot slower. So we still make money as stock moves up. We make We lose money as the stock goes down. Now what if we do something different like this? Well, in this case, I make money as the stock price goes down, okay? This is shorting, okay? This is when you're long and when you're buying shares. And that is because as the price of the stock goes down, my profit here continues to increase, right? The positive end, in this case, here's our positive. So we make money here at the top and we lose money as it goes down. So here we lose and up here we make money. So if we went ahead and did like a small angle, it means I just have less shares, okay? So when we look at the Analyze tab, that's ultimately what it's telling us. And we're gonna go here on screen. So let's check this out right here. Okay, so here I basically have my Thinkorswim platform. If I go to the Monitor tab, there's the Monitor area. If I go to Analyze, there's the Analyze tab. Now I can go ahead and pick a stock. I'll go to the Trade area. You can say I pick Amazon. Let's buy some shares, analyze that trade. And now what you can see here, um, if I go ahead and evaluate this stock, okay, you can see I got 500 shares. So here is my evaluation. My uh, profit is over here. Here's my zero line. And here's my current stock price. Now these lines right here, okay, these are just lines that are connected to these price slices over here. And what I could do is I could go ahead and remove them. So that way they're not confusing. Or of course you could add some in depending on, hey, well, if the stock reaches that price, that's what it's going to basically tell you, hey, that's how much you make or lose. So here, what I can do is, here's my current price, here's the stock angle, and I can change it to float or fixed. If it's fixed, I can go ahead and stretch it one way or the other. I could also stretch this as well, depending on how I like to look at the curve or graph. And now, if I want to go ahead and increase the amount of shares, so go ahead and you can see here it's 500, go ahead and go to 600, 700, and so on, what you'll see is that angle continues to rotate, which basically means, hey, I'm getting more shares, but the steepness continues to go. And how far can it go? Well, unlimited, because remember, the profits on the left and losses on the left can be unlimited. So this thing can go pretty much at a straight line. So if I go, let's say 600,000 shares, it's almost a straight line. But remember, I, I could go ahead and stretch it, and now that angle will change. Now, if you don't like dealing with those angles, you can change it to a float and it'll kind of give you a rough normal angle depending on 
as you change um, as you change your uh, number of shares. So that's how you kind of basically use it. That's the baseline. Now here is our delta that's beyond the scope of this video, but it basically tells you that the amount of sh uh, money that you make for every one dollar move in the stock. So right now, as I have this bid ask spread, you can see it's down. Uh, $85. Well, what happens if the stock price goes up a dollar? Well, I make $60 because I got 60 shares. And you can see that profit and loss now uh, would basically be negative 25. If I go up another dollar, add 60 to that, right? And now I'm up 85. So that's how that really works. You also have a time thing here, but it's not going to affect it in a stock that's more for options. So if I go ahead and start adding in options, this is where the fun kind of begins. So looking at our picture, when it comes to options, there's a lot of um, interesting things that can happen because you could go ahead and draw diagrams like this, which tells you what, which means in this zone over here, you're profitable, okay? In the other zone, you're not profitable. So anything over here, if the stock price lands there, you're not profitable. So it's important you recognize how these pictures are created and they're created by a combination of uh, uh, spreads or uh, option contracts that you put on or place. So depending on where the price lands, if it's here, you might be profitable as long as you get time expiration. If it's down here, you know, well, you'll be over in this area, then it'll be uh, unprofitable because here is your line, right? Um, and the same thing goes with different spreads like this. Well, if you're in the 240 zone, you'll be right here. So pretend all these are little dots. So if I had, uh, here's another little dot, right? And I've got little dots. So that's all it's really telling you is that this is the dot line you're going with and this is your profitability. So if the stock's at 230, your dot's going to be right there. That's what these are doing for you. And you have things that are iron condors same exact thing right so you got all these different little dots but it's creating a iron condor at all these infinite points and that's where hey if the stock is 120 you'll be down 800 if the stocks 130 you'll still be down 800 so that's where these drawings come in so if we look here um, back on screen okay so let's say i go ahead and let's just buy a single vertical right here buy a vertical and now don't forget to subscribe um now we got a vertical right here i'll go ahead and change it to float and then back to fixed so i can manipulate it you can see i got two lines so what do the two lines really mean well this line right here that is the line for today this line is at expiration okay and you can see those based on the dates in this box over here and as I move the line or my mouse you can see that changing as well so you can see here I'm changing this area and you can see that being a little bit adjusted now when you look at this all of a sudden you also have a Delta Gamma Theta and a Vega when you're dealing with just the stock you don't have that so this means that with time if you go over here to the time area and you start moving the time, you can see your profit and loss will change as well. So that means that with time, that gets closer and closer to your green line, okay? And eventually it expires. And that's what happens. This is the way it works. Now there's different ways to do the setup here. So I could go ahead and change it to expiration one. I could go ahead and do something interesting here. Uh, let's just say day step four. And what this does is it just kind of breaks it apart into a couple of different days. So you can see here at this date and time. So you can see what it's done is put a whole ton of dates in here. And with these dates right there, um, depending on where I land, that's going to be my profit and loss. So I could go ahead and move my mouse and you can see because it's taking into account those kind of expirations because at that date, that's how that line is going to look at that time and now it just depends on price and as I move it on the price you can see those factors shifting as well so um, there you can see all of them kind of zoomed in so anyways this is how that really uh, works when you do day step I personally just have it kind of simple like this 
Um, and uh, there's a cool little other feature here uh, that if you want to put in these price slices, which we saw earlier, I could go ahead and add one. I could change it to a percent. I could change it to a lot of other factors. But here, let's just go ahead and change it to a percent. And I could change it to plus five percent. And I could add another slice. And I could say, hey, well, what if we go down five percent? Or you could just change it to more like dollars if you're just thinking about the stock price. Well, let's say it goes up ten dollars and down ten dollars. And what it's done in this stock, it's not that much of a movement because we're dealing with Amazon. It's a eighteen hundred dollar stock almost. It's not as big of an issue. But let's say, hey, we went up a hundred points or down a hundred points. Um, so now what it tells me is these profits and losses. So I've had these lines that are kind of yellowish. You can see there's a yellow line, there's a yellow line, there's a yellow line, and there's the tick right there. There's the tick, the current tick, and there's our break even at the zero line tick. So that right there is kind of what you're watching, but these are all tied and connected to these lines. So this one is connected to this line, this one plus 100 is connected to that line, and this one is to this line. So ultimately, what it's doing is then reflecting the profit and loss based on that right here in this area of the profit and loss, depending on where it was. So if it was, you know, up $100, I'd be uh, $126 profit. If it was down $100, I'd be down about $110. So that's what it's doing. You could go ahead and rearrange those things. You could even type in an exact number. But anyways, that's how that kind of works. And um, there's one other interesting thing with this Analyze tab that I want to share with you, and that is this gear icon. And it's kind of hard to see a little bit. But if you pop this out, you can also adjust the volatility. So if I go and adjust the volatility 15 points, you can see what's going to happen in this graph it adjusts. So you have to take volatility into account if you're trading options. But this is how this um, analyze tab really works. And when you're working within this, whether you're doing uh, these verticals, whether you're doing, let's just say a calendar, it's no different. It's really you're just looking at it. Hey, if the price was 1800 and the time and date and the volatility was this, then what would be my profit? So let's say a few days forward, okay, if we held it and didn't move, I'd be up about 100 and uh, at this point, $145 if we held that price. Uh, but if we moved down to, let's say, $1,700, I'd be probably at break even. If we moved up to $1,838, I'd be at break even. So I have to stay kind of in that range. So this is the whole point it tells you your profit and losses um, based on the numbers and the figures. That's what the Analyze tab is all about. And if you go ahead and add more contracts, it tells you how your risk would be affected. That's ultimately the way that you could use it. Uh, you could also go ahead and filter some things. You could hide positions or hide simulations, or you could show all. You could hide different types of dates or single symbol or look at everything you have. So those are a couple of other things, but that is the simplistic viewpoint of it. And hopefully it gave you some insights. Of course, you could change the color if you don't like those colors, if it's tough for you to see uh, by just clicking, you know, um, these different uh, color things. I wish it, this was a bit thicker, but that's the basics behind these analyze tabs. There's a few other little tricks, but 90% um, of the users and 90% of the people, this is about all you kind of need to know. Uh, there's also set slices too. Let's say uh, 11 rows, if you want to set them, boom, there's different ways to do that. There's like a little bit of uh, default things in, in these areas as well if you want to click around. But other than that, that's that's the basics of it and that's how you use it. That's the whole point behind it. So anyways, I hope this was helpful, give you some insights and some things to think about when it comes to the Thinkorswim platform and the Analyze platform. I know we just kind of did a simple and basic video. It's just, hey, I decided to shoot it because people had a lot of questions on it. And if you enjoyed it, then please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you struggled with it, then go to the website at tradersfly.com and you can hook up with a coaching session. We can work with you one-on-one -on -one so that way you know what's going on, what's happening, and I can lead you. That's the whole point of coaching sessions. So we get to work one-on-one -on -one and making sure you understand the platform and how it works and really fine-tuning your skills so that way you're quick at it. 
Anyways, you can also join me on my newsletter list by clicking the link over here. And that way you get notified as I release other great training videos, courses, books, and other great products. Anyways, thanks again. And remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.